Previously on Transformers Prime. Well, aren't you the clever one? You shall serve as a constant reminder to those who dare fail me. What? Three keys are accounted for. It would seem I have the run of the place. Ah, there you are. The fate of Cybertron now rests in Starscream's hands. Whatever his intention. Please pardon my unannounced visit, Lord Megatron. But I have come bearing a peace offering. Few things of value come without a price. So tell me, Starscream, what is it that you wish in return? Only to be a Decepticon once again. Dreadwing is my first lieutenant now. And I accept that much has changed during my absence. I only wish to serve you, my one true master, in any way that you deem fit. I am deeply impressed by your accomplishments, Starscream. And know that I will put your offerings to good use, whatever the outcome. Uh, outcome? Uh, of what? See to it that Knockout is extracted from the wall. Ah, <sighs> uh. oh, it's good to be back. Now, what will we be fishing for today, my liege? Starscream's true motives. <laughs> for the log. Megatron's spark has been extinguished. All hail Starscream. All hail Starscream! Well, well. You certainly didn't waste any time. <laughs> what? I just watched you perish. I did not perish then, and I'm very much with you now. The present you, as well as the past. Oh, hell, Starstream! I can't hear you! Oh, hell, Starstream! One more time! Oh, hell, Starstream! This is going to be juicy. Oh, hell, Starstream! <sighs> You're inside my head, aren't you? The Cortical Psychic Patch. You see, there are no secrets in here, only your memories. You cannot manipulate their content or modify their outcome. What we see is how it happened. If you want to be a true leader, Starscream, then stray from Megatron's path and lead the Decepticons toward peace. I would be willing to consider a truce. If you would be willing to bow before me, Optimus Prime. You have defied my orders yet again. My mistake, Commander Starscream. 
It is Lord! <sighs> Haven't you heard? I lead the Decepticons now. Now, where did we leave off? Oh, yes. All hail Starscream? A rather obvious motif, Starscream. You deem yourself more able to lead the Decepticons than myself? No, not anymore. I have learned from my many failures, Master. Esteemed members of my armada, you now stand upon the very precipice of glory to meet the destiny which I have so tenaciously worked toward. Dynamic leadership of the Decepticons! That clone said it, not me! It seems you would stop at nothing to disrupt my rule, including assassination! It was their idea, not mine! With this creature under your control and at our disposal, we might employ it to terminate Megatron, allowing us to rule the Decepticons. I see no clones here. Was this their idea, too? I don't remember any of this. I must have been half-crazed at the time. A victim of energon deficiency. Tell me why I should welcome back someone whose every waking impulse has been to thwart me, undercut me, overthrow me! Not true! I have always put your well-being before my own. How does this revolting chapter constitute attending to my well-being? I was simply trying to help by ridding you of the dark matter polluting your body. Seems I possess the only thing that would allow you to rise off that slab and walk again, my dearest Megatron. I even risked being buried alive for you. I... I did not abandon you, Master. I returned to save you. Look into my spark, Lord Megatron. My intentions were true. Were they, Starscream? Were they ever? Well, now who has hit rock bottom? What's that? I'm sorry. I can't hear you beneath all that rubble. <laughs> Farewell, Lord Megatron. May you rust in peace. But you have survived far worse. If you managed to free yourself, you would blame me for your setback. And there is nowhere that I could possibly escape from your wrath. Or worse yet, your mindless followers will come looking for you. And take credit for your rescue. Credit that could rightfully be mine! Ah! Megatron! A word of advice? Stop thinking aloud. I don't want to play this game anymore. Take the keys. We'll pretend I was never here. No, Starscream. There are only two possible outcomes based upon what I find here in your twisted little mind. If I do not deem that you are worthy of rejoining the Decepticons, you will perish on this very day. Isn't termination rather extreme? I mean, a really good trancing usually straightens me out, doesn't it? <laughs> no, Master! No! Why wouldn't you wish to harness my talents for the Decepticon cause? You and I have so much deviousness to offer. Consider it a welcome home present. See how generous I can be, my liege. When it suits you. <laughs> That's your plan? Bring Autobots back from the dead to attack us? At other times, you can be quite insolent. Uh, apologies. It's just that I've gone to so much trouble to terminate the Autobot in the first place. Trouble would have been facing him as a gladiator. I've always considered my wits to be my sharpest weapon. 
wait. You two are up to something. You never learn, Starscream. Your arrogance will trump your wits every time. You cannot harm me while dark energon flows through my veins! I am an invincible! Ah! You're a big one. This could take a while. Credit for scrapping him now, too? That was my doing! No! 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 no. Any last words, smokescreen? My TCOG. A temporary setback. Other Autobots, other TCOGs. We shall find a replacement soon enough. Not soon enough. Now. Possess the ability to take flight? Uh, yes, I, I, I was going to bring that up. And as you might imagine, my predicament pains me to no end. Fortunately, the Harbinger's tracking systems have remained synced with Megatron's warship. Of course, we shall require a means of reaching the... Oh, you can transform? Uh, uh, of of course you can. <laughs> How else would you fly to the ship? That was a test which you all uh, passed. I hope that you might see fit to express your gratitude for the Omega Keys by restoring my jet mode. After all, would I not be more valuable to you with wings? Transform with an exceptional sense of style. I said that aloud, didn't I? Megatron tried to extinguish my spark in cold blood, then all but replaced me with that traitorous wretch arachnid. She abandoned me, left me for scrap. So why not rat them out? No one asked you to leave the Decepticon fold. I wasn't exactly made to feel welcome at the time. <laughs> Master, please! Give me one more chance! I beg of you! Despite the fact that I had seen the error of my ways and dedicated my spark to you, I have gained a clear understanding of my place in this universe. Of who I am. Of who I was always meant to be. Starscream. Second in command, humble servant to Lord Megatron. Until the next opportunity arises to subvert me. And how is the patient doing today? Same old. An inglorious fate that he should remain in this vegetative state. 
On the contrary, Megatron's body may be scrap metal, but his mind is still percolating. Keep that to yourself. That blasted sound wave sees and hears everything. The eyes and ears of the Decepticons. Well, as long as their master remains in limbo, so does their cause. The Decepticons deserve a strong, alert leader. One who would require a loyal second in command. <laughs> a candidate would need to earn that post by making a strong case to said eyes and ears. A case for showing mercy, Lord Starscream. Uh-oh. Does this thing have a fast-forward button? Or better yet, erase? Knockout! If you would be so kind as to provide your expert medical opinion to Soundwave for the historical record. Simply put, unaided, Megatron could remain in this deathless slumber forever. How a master would not have wanted to be seen this way. To stand idly by while he remains captive in his own body is not just. Brainwave activity, not evidence of consciousness, but merely of an endless dream from which Megatron may never wake. Soundwave, we must face reality. Megatron is lost to us. The only honorable option would be to show him mercy. A simple throw of the switch. When Megatron comes out of it, he'll do more than just stick me back in that wall. He'll have Starscream's head and mine. But if I disconnect before a proper power down, the link is severed and the big guy will never emerge from Starscream's head. Just checking cable integrity. Is it any wonder that I've come to value loyalty above all else? <laughs> well, you know, we are Decepticons. I'm sure that even your beloved Dreadwing isn't perfect. No one is perfect, Starscream. But like his departed twin, Dreadwing understands honor. Awaken, warrior. Rise and serve your new master! Skyquake serves only one master. Excellent. Your loyalty and devotion will set a fine example for the troops. No need to be timid, Skyquake. You may bow. You fail to grasp my meaning. I am here on a mission assigned to me by my one master, Megatron. Yes, him. Sadly, Megatron is no longer with us. Impossible. Why is this so difficult for everyone to accept? Sight of the mighty Skyquake. So quick to reject my authority while you lived. But as the first of my reanimated warriors, you shall bow to my command. I can feel it! 
I understand he perished that day. Well, Skyquake is neither living nor dead, and no doubt continues to wander through some dimensional nether realm in search of his missing limb. It would be wise to keep that to yourself around the warship. Awkward. <laughs> Does this mean? Yes. I will allow you to return to our ranks, if only because you are more valuable beside me than against me. <laughs> Thank the old Spark! Infighting has nearly destroyed the Decepticons during your absence. We must operate as a united front if we are to revive and conquer Cybertron. That means each and every one of us knock out. <sighs> Megatron sure knows how to patch things up, eh, Dreadwing? Dreadwing? Previously on Transformers Prime, few things of value come without a price. What is it that you wish in return? Only to be a Decepticon once again. Now, what will we be fishing for today, my liege? Starscream's true motives. Ah, the high and mighty Skyquake. You shall bow to my command. Symbiosis. <sighs> I can feel it! Awkward. I will allow you to return to our ranks. <laughs> Thank the old spark! <sighs> not be the first human on Cybertron, but I can still be the first human exchange student. Why didn't you tell us about the Omega Keys before? He probably didn't notice, but things have been kind of intense around here lately. So, you guys could really be going home soon, huh? Don't worry, Raph. You'll come visit. Once we get our place set up, he can bunk with us. Right, Bulk? Uh, Miko? You are taking me with you, right? Aren't we getting ahead of ourselves here? Not only do we lack any actual method of reaching Cybertron, but Starscream now controls the sole means of our planet's restoration. As far as we know. You think Starscream's rejoined the cons? He might have used the Omega Keys to buy back Megatron's favor. <laughs> Without first trying to sell them to the highest bidder? I, I wouldn't surprise me if he had the nerve to contact us and... Okay, that's weird. Is it Starscream? No. It is Dreadwing. And he wants to meet. I am not here to fight, but to give you this. The Forge of Solus Prime. Could be rigged to blow. Dreadwang, what do you ask in return? Only that you use it wisely. And the Omega Keys? In Megatron's possession, under heavy guard. 
Scream did make a deal with the cons. Why? A shadow of disgrace has been cast upon the Decepticons. It is a cause I no longer wish to be part of. Then I appeal to you again. Join us and help end this conflict once and for all. Betraying my kind is not the same as accepting yours. It's no Star Saber, but I bet it can shatter Megatron's blade and put some dents into that ugly mug of his. It's not that kind of hammer. With the Decepticons in possession of all four Omega keys, a more appropriate use of the Forge would be to use it to replicate our own. Even with such power, their reconstruction would require a level of expertise I do not possess. I guess we better hope Megatron doesn't destroy the keys to prevent anyone from ever going home. Megatron may be evil, but I believe he will use the keys for their intended purpose. Then I say we let him keep him and do the work for us. Well, I mean, what difference does it make who restores Cybertron? If Megatron revives Cybertron, he will no doubt use it to his political advantage. You, you, you lost me. In all likelihood, the leader of the Decepticons will portray himself as our planet's savior and brand all Autobots as war criminals. The grand deception continues. Megatron's so-called achievement could influence Cybertron for eons to come, poisoning the sparks and minds of its returning citizens. Hardly the ideal way to begin a new age. But there is hope, for while Megatron may have the keys, he has yet to discover the existence of the Omega Lock itself. Omega Lock? Wait, now you lost me. That which the four relics were designed to activate. We must locate the device before Megatron does, and secure it until we can recover the keys. There are no more Iacon entries to decode. This lock could be anywhere on Earth. Actually, it is on Cybertron. What? what? How do you know? Alpha Trion revealed its location to me during the message conveyed by the Star Saber. And you didn't think to tell us. Alpha Trion did not wish it so. With the Forge of Solus Prime, we now possess the means of reaching Cybertron. I must work quickly, as our tactical advantage over Megatron will not last long. Dreadwing, I have been searching for you. I am at your service. Lord Megatron. I recognize that Starscream's return to our ranks may be difficult for you, given the loss of your twin under his command. But your cooperation is essential. We Decepticons will be best equipped to rule a restored Cybertron only if we are united. Understood. And if it pleases you, Master, I intend to reach out to our comrade personally. Rise and shine! Your TCOG transplant was a success. Yes, I am just that good. <sighs> Finally. I can't wait to take flight and soar above the clouds. Starscream, I regret to inform you that you will not live to spread your wings ever again. Twin met his end with great honor. Which you disgraced by raising him from the dead. Oh, you know about that. There must be something I could do. Some form of reparation I can offer to alleviate your anguish. 
your spark will suffice! Redway! Stand down! This desecrator must pay for his actions! You call this loyalty, master? I said stand down! That is an order. One which I cannot follow. I'm okay. I'm okay! Lord Megatron, you have my eternal thanks. Do not ever make me regret which one of you I spared. Is it my imagination, or has Optimus been acting differently since that message from Alpha Trion? Yeah, he has been keeping things from us. Even Ratchet's out of the loop. Well, give me one good reason Optimus couldn't trust his own teammates. Why he couldn't have told us about the Omega Lock. Because if he had, Megatron would have pulled it out of my head with his patch. Like it matters. The cons are holding all the keys anyway. Tick-tock, knockout, tick-tock! Megatron's expecting results, and given what we just witnessed, I would say that we cannot afford to disappoint our master. We? Unless nagging counts, I haven't seen you lift a finger. I am the one who brought him the keys. Do I really need to prove myself further by deciphering how they operate, too? Well, perhaps if my research hadn't been sidelined by someone's cosmetic surgery, I might be further along right now. <sighs> oh, just give it here. <sighs> oh, gee, why didn't I think of that? <gasps> <gasps> Do you think? Ready? Go! <laughs> and that is why Dreadwing is pushing up lug nuts. And we are not. Of course! Keys are useless without something to unlock. Target the space bridge for Cybertron. Yet another astonishing convergence of magic and science, courtesy of the ancients. And our leader? It's hard to believe. A few swings of that hammer and bam! Our ground bridge is now a space bridge. Our sensors are detecting a massive energon burst occurring outside Earth's atmosphere. A surge of that kind could only mean one thing, activation of another space bridge. Megatron has discovered that the Omega Lock is on Cybertron. It appears we have lost our advantage. But with Megatron unaware that we now possess the means of interstellar travel, the element of surprise remains in our favor. We must embark on this mission with every resource at our disposal. Starscream, assume command in my absence. <laughs> I would be honored, Master. And what's he forging now? Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost.
According to the landmarks displayed by the keys, the object we seek is located deep within the Sea of Rust. Uh, Optimus? Uh, no, Ratchet, it's Jack. I is something wrong? Because school's been out for almost an hour and no one showed to pick us up. That is because the entire team is rather indisposed at the moment. I suggest you obtain an alternate method of transport. What's he saying? The, the bots are busy. Then tell Ratchet to come get us. It's not like he has anything else to do. Just go home. I will be in touch later. H hello? He hung up. What crawled up his tailpipe and died? Did Ratchet tell you what's going on? No. They seem to be keeping us in the dark a lot lately. What just happened? But that's impossible. The Autobots do not possess the means to... once, and I shall do it again! help with the last part. The spark extractor. Have seized the Omega Keys. 
Send reinforcements immediately! Actually, Lord Megatron, Soundwave has been briefing me on recent developments, and we may have a more effective solution. Our head start won't last long. This is where Alpha Trion said we'd find it, right? These are the coordinates. Doesn't look like much. Ratchet, we have located the Omega Lock. <sighs> At last. According to Alpha Trion, the Omega Lock is a conduit to the very Allspark itself. Optimus, an honor like this shouldn't belong to me. I would suggest that you put a halt to your task and hand over those keys. And why would we do that? So that I may hand over the humans. And if we refuse... Then I will have no choice but to open the pods, exposing your pets to Cybertron's toxic atmosphere. And then we can all watch them instantly perish together. Previously on Transformers Prime... The Forge of Solus Prime Ever make me regret which one of you I spared. Target the space bridge for Cybertron. A few swings of that hammer and bam! Our ground bridge is now a space bridge. Megatron has discovered that the Omega Lock is on Cybertron. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. The Autobots have seized the Omega Keys. We have located the Omega Lock. Autobots, I would suggest that you hand over those keys. And if we refuse... We can all watch them instantly perish together. to spend my first trip to Cybertron. Starscream! Jack! It's time to come out and play! Go ahead. The Autobots were prepared to sacrifice themselves from my planet. I'll do the same for theirs. Me too, creepy. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should oblige them. If my decision dooms the future of the Autobot cause on Cybertron, so be it, but I will never forsake our human allies.
you please. The Omega Keys. One at a time. You first, big boy. If I don't get the girl, I'll make you eat this key. You're welcome. Get scrapped! If this human was important enough to entrust with the Matrix of Leadership, he's worth two Omega Keys. No tricks. The keys, if you please. Optimus, were you successful? Ratchet? It's June Darby. How are you? Uh, busy, Miss Darby. I am expecting urgent news from the Autobots. Oh, is Jack with them? No, why? I haven't seen him all day, and he isn't returning my calls. I will have Jack contact you immediately should I hear from him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must keep the comm lines clear. Ratchet? Hello? Now bear witness as a new era dawns on Cybertron. Behold! The age of the Decepticons! You have what you want, Megatron. This conflict is between Autobots and Decepticons. Allow me to return the humans to Earth. Oh, I wouldn't recommend it. They'll be far safer here. Is the space bridge locked on target? Per your instructions, Lord Megatron. Excellent. Why rule only one world? when I could rule too. because I'm probably out saving the world right now. Optimus, do you read? An unknown energy spike in Earth's atmosphere is crashing all my systems. Please tell me this is related to the activation of the Omega Lock. If the Omega Lock can restore Cybertron, it'll do the same to Earth, right? No. 
It will cyberform your planet in favor of its new matrix, destroying all indigenous life in the process. My new domain, new Kaon, or perhaps Gilded Earth. No! Leave our planet alone! <laughs> 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 Optimus, can you read? Ratchet, please open a space bridge. should cancel the welcome home party. Attend to our master. He requires medical attention. Prime! He will pay for dooming Cybertron to remain a lifeless husk. Never again run home. The children? What happened? Somebody say something. Optimus destroyed the Omega Lock. What? You did what was necessary. There was no time for another prolonged battle, not with Earth in imminent danger. So you destroyed the only device in any universe capable of restoring our home? Optimus, we needed that. You weren't there, Doc, and it's not your place to second-guess a battlefield decision. It most certainly is. There had to be another way. It, it wasn't that simple, Ratchet. Megatron was using the Omega Lock to attack the Earth. Optimus saved our planet. What about our planet? All of our struggles and energon spilled and countless sacrifices for nothing? Right decision or wrong, what's done is done. But we have another problem here on this world. The Khans just changed the rules when they put Jack, Miko, and Wrath into play. Prime! The Pentagon's preparing to go DEPCON 1. I need to know what we're dealing with. To what do you refer, Agent Fowler? Maybe you should step outside and see for yourselves. Ratchet, watch the children. Megatron has managed to accomplish the first phase of his cyber-forming of Earth. The construction of his fortress. In Jasper, Nevada. I don't get it. 
I've already had the town evacuated. Why here? Because the Decepticons have discovered the location of our base. to revive Cybertron has been lost due to the treachery of Optimus Prime. But from our fortress of New Kaon, we will instead seize control of this world. Decepticons, transform and rise up! I thought he'd never ask! Come, my armada! Attack! Attack! going on out there? The Decepticons have invaded Jasper. And Fowler seems to think he can hold them off. Special Agent Fowler to Air Defense Command. I need immediate combat support. Come on, Air Defense Command. I'll be triple dipped. Prime, reinforcements just arrived. Agent Fowler, your military cannot prevail against the... You didn't think I was going to let Team Prime have all the fun, did you? Ha <laughs> ha, it's Jackie! Wheeljack? But how did you... I picked up a strange energy surge. Hope you don't mind the company. No, it's just that after everything, well... We're still on the same team, Doc. Always will be. Ratchet, prepare to bridge everyone out of here. We're abandoning the base? The base is lost. Wheeljack and Agent Fowler can only buy us time to escape. Bumblebee, Raphael, you will depart first. You're splitting us up? Shouldn't we stick together? All for one and one for all? We must disperse to avoid capture until we can regroup and launch a counterattack. Survival is our only priority now. <laughs> the day I'm outflown by a bunch of toasters is the day I...
What about you? I will ensure that the Decepticons cannot follow. I never imagined it would end like this. Neither did I, old friend. This is the place, all right. This was the place. United we stand, divided they fall.